Hey, Labots, I'm Piper of One Two One here, back on our open. And, uh. So, this is part eight of the modding tutorial series. And in this part, I'm going to show you how to release your mod as an APK with the OBB. Oh, uh, let's start. So, you don't actually need to do anything in Angry Birds Epic for this part of the tutorial, but before you release your mod, obviously, make sure that you have added everything that you want to be in a mod for this version. And because uh, once uh, you have uh, it in the backup file, then you'll have to reinstall no size check in order to make any further changes. But anyway, so first, to create the backup file, we're going to need to go to the Play Store. And uh, we're going to research for titanium backup. So specifically in this version right here, uh, the free one. Before we use it, then we're going to need to go to our root directory and then go to data uh, slash data slash condor.org slash files and delete fusion.registry. Yeah, coldest T told me that this is a very important step. Okay, so sometime. I don't know why it works on the Nox instance that I use for 3.3.3, .3, but not this one. Luckily, there is a way around this if it refuses to delete it. You can just rename the file so it no longer functions so, as it's supposed to. And uh, if you want uh, the players of your mod uh, who uh, have the same progress as they do in no size check or to start from the beginning of the game, then you can also optionally delete slash rename a save file right here in Shep. Perhaps. But uh, the progress on this file is basically part of the modding tutorial demonstration, so when I release this mod, I'm going to keep the save file as part of it. So, now that we have everything ready, then we're going to open Titanium Backup. And remember to give it access to the root, because it needs this in order to create the backup file. So then, head over to backup slash restore, scroll down until you find Angry Birds Epic, and click on it, and select backup. So, now we're going to head back to our files, and you can see there's a new folder here called Titanium Backup. There are three different files here, but we only need the one that ends with .tar.gz for our mod. So, we're going to put it here, 
And now we're going to place it in this order that I made for this video, containing everything we need to make the APK. Yes. Oh. But if you're on an Android device, then you're going to want to make sure or that you get this Tardot GZ file onto your PC. Yeah, but if or we put it into the APK, we're going to need to prepare the APK. So let's open it with 7-zip and go to Assets, Bin, Data, and then in here is this settings.xml file. So, we're going to uh, open this, and then, uh, in order to be able to combine the APK with OBB, so you don't have to go through the hassle, or of placing the OBB all yourself when installing the mod, then first we need to set this to false, so it won't require an OBB Oh, but we'll instead use the assets that are about to be put in the APK itself. So, now, then we're going to put our modified settings.xml file in the APK. And next, to put to the OBB assets themselves in the APK, so open the OBB with uh, the 7 zip and then grab the assets folder and drag it into the APK. Okay, now for custom saved again. So when you first download custom saved again, it will be in a zip per fold. Uh, so you just need to extract is it into a regular folder to be able to use it, like I've already done with this one. Oh, uh, because this was modified by uh, Laser Slime and uh, your and virus uh, may uh, delete some of the critical files. It's as I experienced myself. So, well, first we're going to prepare. And save the game for our specific mod at the moment. Its settings are all for well, the update for the 3.3 mod. So, in order to change what mod it's for, and just open app settings.json. And so, here we're going to give it a unique mod ID. So, by default. Alt when you first install custom SCG, this will just say cool mod. But here yeah, we're going to uh, name this tutorial mod. And since this is the mod's first release, then we're going to set the mod version to 1. 
And in this file you can also change the message that will up here. Uh, so, because the mod in this tutorial was made only by me, and we're just going to uh, shorten the mass page to this. And it didn't affect this in this bar, so just in case I'm going to have the bar here mirror it. But now we're going to select our files from the folder. So first the APK file, and then the tar.gz file. And then simply just press start. Now we have successfully created our mod in APK, so all that's left to do is uh, give it a unique uh, name. And now we're going to upload it to Media Fire. So, I use Mediafire because uh, it's uh, on a Google Drive, then sometimes they take down APKs because the default to sign uh, makes Google mistake it for malware or something. Uh, that's what caused the download to go down for the original events mod. So now we just select our mod and then press begin upload. And now our mod has successfully uploaded. And you can see it right here. That's oh, you just need to select copy link and then paste it in the description. And of a release trailer for your mod or an announcement and to message. Oh, wow. And then your mod is officially released. So it looks like that's going to do it for this video. Wow. And, uh, I think Heroic has almost got custom asset worked out, so uh, when the tutorial is out on how to get those working, I'll make a tutorial on how to make custom potions. Uh, because at the moment, if you were to add a custom potion, then if you use the asset ID of an existing potion, 
then in the in-game potion menu, you wouldn't be able to tell which one is which. Just... Oh, I think I'm going to wait for the custom message first before I make that soil bank. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.